Hi, this is Erin here at the Glass House Nursery in Chatham, Ontario. I've been doing uh, custom arrangements for our customers for since I was this big. <laughs> Mom and Dad's store, so I've been here my whole life doing it. A lot of people don't know that we do custom arrangements for um, anyone who wants to come in and get that done. Whether you know your pots are too heavy for you, your you know you just don't feel like you have the creative edge, um, or you just you know want it to get done nice and quick and go home with something that's finished. If you decide that you want us to plant it, we can either pick out a pot at the store, or you can bring in something that you've had from previous years, and we'll pot it up for you, no charge of the pot, which is saves you a little bit of money, so that's great. Um, I have a great example here. Mary Lou came in this morning and asked me if I could help her with her arrangement. She'd prefer for me to pot it up, so I'm going to do that for her. So what we chose is we're going to put a little spike in the back. She had a full sun area, so we're going to try to use some plants that are a little bit more drought tolerant, and she loves color. Um, so that's always something you can tell the girls in here. You know, what, what do you want? Do you want height? Do you want color? Do you need full sun? Drought tolerant? We'll work with the conditions that you have for your garden. So we're going to throw in some geraniums in there. They're really good for um, adding bold color um, into your arrangements. They're great too for um, the amount of foliage that they um, give your pot. It just fills them up a little bit. What I just did on the bottom of it is I messed up the roots a little bit. When plants are growing in a confined space in the small pots that we have here, they tend to become root bound. And if you don't disrupt the roots before you pot them into a new pot, they will continue to grow in that pattern and they won't be able to absorb all the nutrients in the soil. So you just want to pull it so that you change the pattern that the roots are going to be growing in. If it's more root bound than that, you'll have to do a little bit more. So we threw three geraniums in there because you wanted it nice and thick and to be pretty right away. We have some blue Veronica salvia. It gets nice and tall and it just will add a little bit of contrast color to it. They don't look like much right now, but when they get taller with the blue blooms, they will really stand out. So we're doing everything in threes for symmetry because that's what Mary Lou likes. I like that too. <laughs> and then we pick some million bells. Just another color, a little bit of purple, just to add some more contrast. And we're going to put those in the left open spaces. So from here, um, I have all the plants in. Next time I'm going to go and show Mary Lou this. Hopefully she loves it. If she had anything that she wanted changed, I'd be more than happy to throw in a different color for her. Um, also, if you want us to wait to water it, just let us know, just to keep your vehicle a little bit drier. Um, something I didn't mention, I did put slow-release fertilizer in the soil before I started to plant, just to make sure that the you know that the plants are still getting fertilized once they are brought home because at the glass house we like to fertilize every single day in our regular watering routine so it just helps keep up the bloom that you see that's in the greenhouse right now um, and then all that's left to do is I'll add up the plants that I put in it a little bit for soil and that's it have a great day guys